Hey guys, welcome back. Out here with some new camera equipment on some big water on my big boat. We are upstate New York and uh, we are at a fishery that has largemouth and smallmouth. Smallmouth dominant fishery though. Um, got here yesterday, fished for the first, do uh, the first time, first day I fished here and uh, I had to anticipate figuring out a smallmouth bite but sure enough I figured out a largemouth bite. So, um, and it was fun. and. Uh, didn't have the cameras on but <laughs> but um uh, yeah we're gonna give this a second try and today we're going for small mouth so let's do it Okay, sir. Walleye. All right, guys, real quick, let me bring you up to speed on what's going on here. Me and my girlfriend get up to Oneida. Um, the first day we launch, we have like 13 rods on the deck, maybe more. You know, we're, we're just fishing a variety of techniques, trying to figure out what these fish are keying in on. Um, Oneida Lake happens to be the biggest lake entirely in New York State which means it's the biggest lake in New York that's not touching any borders. So I have tons of lake in front of me. I think like more than 51,000 um, acres. So the day starts off, me and her just, you know, we're fishing, we're fishing, we're fishing. We run around a point into a shallow cove and uh, she's throwing a finesse swim bait and she ends up, boom, laying into like, I don't know, it looked looked like a five pounder I can't say how big it was she lost it it jumped in the air really ridiculous situation we're like oh my god the water's in the low 60s right now there's largemouth on beds here and I know I said smallly dominant fishery but that's only you know what I said due to the history of like you know tournament stats uh, most tournaments are one with smallmouth on Oneida Lake but happens to be the best time of the year to catch largemouth so you know I pick up a swim jig catch a three pounder and we just continue to do that for a little while pick up the boat start moving around cover a ton of water I file through so much water I can't even tell you now fast forward real quick so I stop I pull up next to a island um, with some submerged boulders and I say to myself this looks like smallmouth country I, ha I just need a clue right now for tomorrow all I need is a clue so I'm throwing a small Ned jig with a single tail grub on the back of it and I'm working it throughout the crevices of these boulders. I end up hooking into a really nice fish and it just breaks me off while it's stripping drag. That was the very end of my first day. But that was the clue I needed to put me back on track. So where we're at right now, I started up in this area, the same general area where I had lost the fish the night before and I am fishing a combination of a Ned, uh, a Ned rig and also <clears throat> that small little Ned jig with the, with the grub on it. And as you can see, getting hung up in the rocks so bad. Um, one of my rods I came with today has six pound test on it because I'm still trying out to see what's good with this fishery. I might need lighter line to get these fish to bite. So still figuring things out here and getting really frustrated getting hung up in these rocks. There he is. He hit good. Oh man, I'm really off 
happened to find the spot. So happy about this. Oh, oh, we broke off. Oh, man. Six pound test. Dennis, six pound test. Yeah, I can't fish with six pound test over here. It's, it's, that's ridiculous. Talk about break off every five minutes. No, thank you. It's just not always fun, you know. Like, yeah, well, you want it to take up a fun hobby, you know, that's fine. But, you know, this takes work. It takes work. All right, now at this point, I'm getting frustrated. I'm on the brink of figuring this thing out. Or I feel like, you know, I feel like I'm onto something. You know, I really feel like I'm on the cusp of making a breakthrough. But I can't seem to stop breaking off in the rocks. I lost another fish, you know. Like I said, I lost that one the night before. Same spot, okay? So right now, I'm on the same exact spot. I lost that fish the night before. There's clearly a bed there with still some active fish bedding. So the smallmouth are post-spawn. Most of them are transitioning into that post-spawn, but there are still some smallies on beds. Got you, man. It took me so long to catch you, man. Oh my God, what a success. Oh, don't talk too soon, DK. Wow. Oh man, what a good learning experience. All right, buddy. Are you the same fish by any chance, bud? Just wondering. The drop shot comes through. Yes! <laughs> oh man, that was successful. That was very successful. What a beautiful fish, man. There he is. Oh man, I'm figuring this out now. This is Beautiful. <laughs> don't do it, baby. Don't do it. Oh man, this is this is what I'm talking about, man. It takes time to figure this stuff out. Oh yeah. I, naturally, I have to boat flip this fish because that's just what I need to do. But oh, we're smally fishing today. We're supposed to. Baby our fish on our drop shots. Starting to put this pattern together. Oh my god! Oh, 
That is too much fun. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> he was swimming with me. He had no idea he was hooked. That's great. That's like he was a rock bass. <laughs> oh my god. Dude. Oh my god. It's great. Okay, come on, bro. You're not that big. You just got muscles. Let's go. I, honestly, I don't know. He jumped out of the water, but I have no idea how big he is. I blacked out. <laughs> I blacked out. Come on, man. I could play you all day. Let's do this. I got you hooked pretty decent, brother. Man, that is fun. Whew. That is a fat one, too. That is a beautiful, fat, smallie. Oh, man. I know a lot of pop people don't like to drop shot. Well, guess what? I don't like to drop shot either when drop shot isn't the way to catch them. But when it is, and you figure out exactly how and where, drop shot is everything, man. <laughs> Is there another one there? There he is. Oh, 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 why are you pulling it away from him? Don't get cocky, man. Don't get cocky. Oh, dropped him, man. Oh, I'm not going to cry about it. I'm not even upset. Usually I'd be upset. I'm not upset. That was a good fish. I just dropped one. Oh, good. Oh my god, man. Oh my goodness. No. No. There we go. I hooked him that time. You're not getting off. Oh my god, man. All right, you guys just missed it. I just caught two fish in this area, in this spot, this exact spot. Really good fish. I didn't have the camera on because I'm inexperienced with filming, but I'm getting much better. And the one that you guys get to see on film is a rock bass. So how freaking awesome is that, right? Okay, I promise I'm getting better with the camera, guys. <laughs> I caught one that was three and a quarter and one that was uh, two and a half and I missed the footage and it was awesome and I was screaming like a little girl um, because these fish just fight so hard and I, I'm just excited because because this is what I love you know I'm figuring out a new pattern on a new lake and there's nothing better in the world than that I apologize for the lost footage guys, but a matter of fact, I didn't even lose it. I didn't even have the camera on in the first place. Do you know how dumb it feels to be talking to a camera when the thing's not even on, okay? So yeah, so double ridiculous for me. Um, but anyway, so I caught the male and the female off that bed. The rock bass was pretty much just mocking me at that point. And I put the, um, I picked the motor up, I put the Merc on and I start running the lake. I uh, get myself up to a similar, uh, an island with similar contour squeezes. There he is. Didn't feel like a big fish at first. 
but that is not a small fish, that's for sure. Okay, big head turn soon. All right. I don't want to break this one off. I've had too much stupid things happen today to break this one off. Come on, baby. I know, I know. These fish fight so hard here. All right, bro. <laughs> I'm waiting this out just with you, man. Me and you are waiting this out together. Let's go. You're not even that big. You just got huge dreams. Come here. Unbelievable. Not small, that's for sure. That is a solid fish. Man, I'll tell you, these fish fight so hard. Whew. Deal with this guy real quick. I had him hooked pretty good, actually. Not really upset about that. So overall, it was a successful day on the water for me. Um, I spent a good amount of time on my graphs, and I also spent a good amount of time fishing. Um, I have it pretty much pieced together how I'm going to run my pad in the next day. So uh, part two is going to be coming out soon. Uh, really looking forward to that. <clears throat> my girlfriend's going to be back on the boat with me, and we have a lot of awesome footage from part two. Well, you know, having the pattern really dialed in. One thing I wanted to talk about with you guys before we go is the key adjustment, my key bait adjustment from the whole experience that day. And as you can see, I made the adjustment away from the Ned rigs and those small micro jigs because I kept breaking off. Whether it was the fact that I kept getting stuck in boulders and crevices or I was just snapping off on fish, fish were taking me down into rocks, or if, even if a fish had him in his mouth, I wasn't getting a good hook set. I made that change to the drop shot and you've seen the difference of how things picked up for me. Now the main key bait adjustment of the day was that drop shot, the reason why. Now a lot of people think about a drop shot as a vertical fishing bait, a straight up and down technique where you're fishing right under your boat vertically and in that case a lot of people are going to use a short leader on their drop shot. Um, just to give you an example, people might fish with their leader something like about that long from the space between your hook and the actual weight itself. Now on this specific day, I wasn't fishing vertically straight up and down. I needed to keep distance from these beds. So the most important thing, and as my day went on, the leader length under my hook on my drop shot leader, it kept getting longer and longer. And the reason for that is, is because, see all that space right there between my hook and my weight? That's over two feet of space right there. I was able to pitch my drop shot out and effectively keep my bait suspended off the bottom even though my line was more diagonal or horizontal because of the distance away from the beds rather than being vertical. So it was that length right there. It was that extra length in my leader that really allowed me to keep the bait suspended right above these beds that I was targeting and right in these fish's faces. So if they bit my bait, I was able to successfully hook them and pull them up off those beds without getting stuck down in the boulders because my cylindrical tugston weight was basically handling all that for me down there. No snags. So 
that was a really awesome adjustment. I'm going to get more into the adjustments on part two, and I'm going to talk about the type of hook that I use, um, the adjustments that I made in hook style to really start dialing things in. Um, I'm going to bring you guys inside my graphs a little bit and show you my sonar. I'm going to show you the, um, the map a little bit. So um, it's going to pick up, and I have awesome footage. So really looking forward to it. Um, thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Please sub to my channel please like the channel um like this video i have a um giveaway coming up at 100 subscribers and we're going to do another one at 500 and we'll do another one at a thousand i don't care so talk to you guys soon <laughs> yeah. there he is yo man i think we got a better one babe and he's gone and he's gone. There he is. Oh my God, they're loaded here. Oh my goodness. I'm not losing this one though. I have a good hook set on him. I knew I, I couldn't leave these fish. I mean, come on. Oh baby. <laughs> That is a freaking hog, yo. That is a hog. Uh, that's a better one. I mean, for what we're catching here. For this lake, that is a good Oneida Smalley. Oh my God, he was not coming out. Look at this. They hook on him twice. <laughs> that's what I want to see on a drop shot. Yes. Boom. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Man, did I find some juice out here. Uh, I mean, I, I wanted to see if that jerk bait works, but I mean, how am I going to abandon my pattern? It took a lot of work to build this thing. All right, guy. This fish went to acting school. He thinks he's bigger than he really is. supposed to be that was cool oh man that was awesome okay. he's a small I just don't want to break my line because they they abrase your leader one by one and I don't feel like tying 50 billion leaders all day man his eyes are so red I get excited every time. I get excited every time. Come here, baby. Gotcha. Ooh. All right. I'm sorry. I really got you this time. <laughs> Man. That is too much fun. That is too much fun. I got to say.